everything is just impeccable. And this area is what, Melissa? This is the parlor of the manor house. So this is where the magic of Glen Laurel begins. Oh, and it is, it's all magical. It's everything to detail. And I wanna know all about it because I know it's not just this room or in upstairs, the hotel rooms. In rooms. Right. It's much more. Right, we have 22 accommodations, uh -huh. a combination of rooms, suites, crofts, which are small cottages and cottages. Mm. They are designed for two people. We do have one that will accommodate three for the girls' getaway weekend or uh -huh. that type thing. People who come here are offered a three-course breakfast as part of their stay, and then the ones who choose to dine are able to purchase dinner, which is a six or seven course fine dining experience. So when people come here, they're not just coming typically one time. I mean, you get them no. hooked and they want to be back and then there's a special place at a table yes. for them. This is the house table. So this is where our tenured guests sit and we honor them at dinner by putting them here and they have their own poetry reading, their place their place of honor in at Glen Laurel. So it's and not we, like being at the kids' table when I was growing up, no? No, it's kind of okay. the opposite. <laughs> and we do have several repeat guests. We I have bet. guests that come once a year, every year, especially for their anniversaries. They get a commemorative anniversary plate and a discount. Yeah. We have people that come two or three times a year. We have couples that have been here hundreds of nights. Now it is an adult environment. Yes, it's uh -huh. adult only, uh -huh. no children, no pets, and it's the best place in the world to get away from the world and reconnect with each other. Let's talk about the golf links themselves. We have a Scottish Lynx golf course, uh -huh. so it is 130, it's, it's like a 130 year old tradition with original hickory shaft clubs. The golf balls are about half the weight of normal golf balls. Oh, so I have a chance. It's, it's eight holes <laughs> okay. and the little gadgets that we use to make the tees in the sand are made locally by Lockhart Ironworks. Oh wow, so they can do that. I saw bocce, I saw some other activities. We have our own hiking gorge. Oh, so guests gosh. can come here and hike in a private gorge that they don't even have to be out in the crowd. And for those people who like to come and just maybe have the whole experience, there's the pub. Right. We have social hour every evening. Guests can come to the pub, get something to drink, nibble from the cheese tray, reconnect with each other, connect with the other guests, yeah. and just enjoy totally relaxing before their dinner. Oh, the dinners though. The dinners, they are the highlight. When guests come here, they don't know what the dinner is going to be except for the main feature. Okay. Once the main feature is chosen, the chef creates the rest of the menu and they can watch and follow the chef as their, as their food comes to them on the card, the back of their name card at their table. So tell us about the themed dinners, the evenings. The themed dinners yeah. are really special. We have in December Dickens dinners, readings from passages from A Christmas Carol. Aww. The same reader does a Burns dinner in January on Robert Burns' birthday. And then we'll be doing our first Shakespeare dinner on on June the 27th, June the 27th. and that will be passages from Macbeth. Oh my gosh. So we are already taking reservations for that now. And I have to tell you the, the rumor throughout the land here is that the bagpiper, you don't want to miss that. You don't want to, that is every Saturday night and we um, welcome him here. He usually walks out through the hamlet and then comes back and ends up on the hill right outside the manor house. And it's just special to all the guests. And we do also welcome outside guests if our in-house guest needs are taken care of and uh -huh. there is additional space. So they can come and... They can come and dine. Oh, nice. If there's extra room. Okay. Well, I think I am tailor-made for this place, just so you know. And not only because this sounds like an incredible experience, but I saw you put my motto up on the mantle. How can I warm thee if thy heart be cold? <laughs> Thanks for that, Melissa. <laughs> well, I would welcome you back at any point and we'll take good care of you with a, a nice three course breakfast with scone and porridge and entree, oh, a nice pampering I, dinner. How could I ever refuse? <laughs> well, I'll look for you then. Uh, okay, thank you so much. Thank I'm you. sure people are gonna wanna be here. This is really, it's, it's a once in a lifetime experience. It is very memorable and we try to make it as special as we can.